What is up everybody and welcome back to Bravo Bassin. Well, today I am down at the Richmond Fishing Expo and uh, we're gonna be here at the Enigma booth hanging out and I'm gonna be shooting some filming and filming the expo and checking it all out and show you guys all the new stuff that's coming out for 2019. So uh, stay tuned, let's get in there and uh, let's see what all we got going on there. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is my first time coming to this expo. So uh, should be a really good time. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff here. I'm hoping to run into a few people that I'd like to meet and uh, hopefully um, you guys enjoy this video and uh, hopefully some of you guys are down here. And if you're not, you need to get down here. You need to check out these expos. So uh, um, stay tuned because uh, we're gonna get inside and uh, show you guys what all is going on. Everybody, so check it out. We are in the expo. Looks awesome. Check out this crazy armadillo right here. Um, that's pretty cool. Not sure what he's doing, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk to him real quick. Let's uh see what the armadillo is up to. Hey, can we do an armadillo interview and put you guys on YouTube? So what do you guys got going on here? What are we doing here? Yeah, we're giving away some uh, kids' fishing rods this morning for the first 100 kids to show, show up through the door here at the Richmond Fishing Expo. Uh, they're really cool. They can take them with them when they get to go fish this summer or this spring. It's a cool a cane, cane pole. Cane pole, a hook, line, and bobber, all set. And on the back, even cooler, a free kids' meal at Texas Roadhouse. So come on out here to the Richmond Fishing Expo this morning. we still got a few left, so if any kids come through the door, we'll be happy to give them. See how awesome is that? You get something free and you haven't even gotten in the door yet. Pretty cool. So you guys stay tuned. All right, guys. So I'm just going to walk around a little bit, see what all we got going on here. Um, talk to some people, um, say hey to some people. And uh, I've got to find the Digma booth, wherever it's at. Um, I'm not sure where that's at yet. So I will figure it out and uh, we will see what's going on. And, yeah, everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm sitting here talking to a camera. But uh, pretty cool. You guys can see all this. Look at all this stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. So uh, if you guys have never come to one of these expos before, I highly recommend it. You can get really good deals on stuff. You can meet a lot of people and make a lot of connections. And so, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to this day. It's going to be a lot of fun, so uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm just going to give you a shot, kind of show you what's going on here. interrupt and talk while he's doing the seminar but I'm gonna shoot a little video so you guys can see it. So how cool was that? They got a tank full of bass and they're actually casting the doors on there and catching it. It's pretty cool. All right, everybody, we're here at the Enigma booth. We're hanging out with the rest of the guys on the pro team and stuff. This is Mike, and this is Joel, and we're going to talk a little about, about the rods and reels and uh, tell you what we got going on here at, the, uh, at Enigma. So take it away, Mike. All right, so we're at the Enigma booth here at this next Pro 2019 Brisbane team. We've got four new series rods out there this year. One of those are the Econ series. We've got our concept reel on it. Very nice. Fishing the other day, um, ended up catching two bass. So uh, 
great rod, great reels, and a great company, and I'm proud to be a part of the team. If you guys get down here, you can come down here and check out this expo. If you don't get here this year, hit it up next year and come say hi. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, we always got new stuff coming out. Keep track of us. Uh, we're always growing with the technology. Guns. And, uh, we've come pretty far, I think, in the last couple of years since we started out. Most definitely, great company, man. And you guys, stay tuned, and we got more coming. All right, guys, we're here at Paddle Virginia, which is a kayak company um, out of Appomattox, Virginia. And right now, right here in the front, we got the new wilderness system kayak. So uh, I'll show you guys a pretty cool video of that. Why this gentleman's checking it out as well. Pretty cool setup. I don't mind if you're in the video. It's all good. Um, this is new Radar 115. Um, really nice seat they got going on here, which is a big deal when you're out kayak fishing. This thing has crazy adjustments on it. It actually flips down like this, flips back up. Um, plenty of storage space, place for your transducer, fishing binder, all that good stuff. Storage hatches, nice live well in the back. Um, yeah, pretty cool kayak. All right, let's roll around to the Old Town Predator PDL, which is right here. Um, this is actually one that I've been looking at because I've been looking at some pedal down kayaks. Um, for the price point and everything, it's a pretty cool kayak. It looks like it's pretty stable, pretty well set up, and a uh, pretty good fishing kayak. So uh, let's uh, show you guys that. Kind of cruise through there. Nice little uh, video. If you guys don't know, there's actually a storage hatch right here for it as well. And a um, really comfortable seat, nice decking, scupper holes, easy to drop in and lock down. You literally just pick this handle up, drop it down. These are locks to keep it in place there, and then you unlock that and you just pull it up, boom, pops in place, and then you lock it right down there. Um, really easy adjustable, pull these little pins right here, slide the seat back up and forth. Um, easy steering, great little steering handle right there. Plenty of room in the tank well back here. And I'm just an all over very, very cool kayak. All right, guys, we are here at Paddle Virginia, and we're going to do a rundown on the native 10.5 pedal kayak. And this is Jonathan, and he's going to go. Jonathan. They missed up my name, Stanberry. Jonathan Stanberry. They put like strawberries or something on there. Or strawberry. Yeah, if Mike Tyson said my name. Right? So, all right, he's going to give us the rundown for us. So, go ahead, take it away, man. Yeah, man. I'm here with the native watercraft, I'm looking at the Titan 10. You got to start off with the propel. You got the first one, the instant reverse. Well, I can't, sorry. Here, I'll just hold it for you. Yeah. Roll. We're right here, but it says this boat apart from everything else. All the other boats. If you look inside, it's white. If you look on the outside, you see all the color. It's because during the molding process, it's injected with foam during yeah. the roto mold. Another popular thing that. Well, skip one. With the plastic being, or the foam being injected, that stiffens up the plastic and makes it harder where I don't want to knock on somebody else's product right in front of it. It stiffens it up. Got the hollow. In lower position. Typically, people, people typically keep it up in the higher position. Full rudder system. You want to put the camera under the boat? Let's see if we can get the rudder off of there. Oh, yeah, go ahead. We got it. With the, and back to the high low sea, it's designed with tackle in mind. And storage. You store tackle boxes underneath the seat. And over here on the side, it's got places for pliers and utility knots, all that. Another slot in the back of it to hold another tackle box. This boat, particularly in particular, weighs 121 pounds, fully rigged out. You take the propeller out, that's 16 pounds off of it. The seat, that's another eight pounds. They get you down around the 90 pound range to move the out. Sure. Now tell them about the landing gear you guys have on here too, because that's something that you definitely probably want to put you on this guy. Right, for sure. It's a little bit heavy, unless you're one of the strong cats that's out here. So. Nah, but yeah, we, we want wheels. Gives, yeah, it makes it give us the wheelbarrow style. It takes a lot of weight off of it. Drag it wherever you're going. 
got rod tip covers, rod delays laying on the side. Five hundred pound weight capacity. Um, that's about all I can think of. Right on the spot, you kind of put me on the spot here, brother. All right, so uh, this is actually a super awesome kayak. Um, Native makes some of the best kayaks out there in the industry. If you guys are looking for a pedal dive, these are actually priced very reasonable. I think $24.99, which is a lot better than like buying a Hobie, which is like $32.35 for the pedal dive. And this is really awesome because this, you don't have to flip around and pull a switch if you want to go backwards and reverse. All you do is pedal backwards versus like riding a bicycle. So, uh, Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the run down. Um, great kayak. And then you guys, if you guys need to get down here and check this expo out, and if you're not, get up and check out Native Kayaks because they're pretty awesome kayaks. Check, check out, check out John. There you go. Hey, guys, we're hanging out here at the Big uh, Enigma booth with One Cast, One Fish. He's a really cool guy. Um, check out his channel. Um, I watch his channel. I follow him. He's got great tips, great tricks to learn how to catch fish. He's a super awesome guy from here in Virginia. And we're going to get a shout out. Hey everybody, make sure you take a look up one cast one fish on YouTube and catch some big fish. And we'll see you next time on the actual Alright guys, we are hanging out at the Nico Bates booth with Scott Berry. Did I get that right this time? Yeah, right. Right. And he's gonna tell you about what they got going on and some of the best baits that they got out on the market right now. So take away stuff. Okay. Um okay. Like I said, there's, this is Nico. Nico Fishing is a Japanese company. They've been in the plastics business for about 50 years. And they've uh, developed what's probably the most technologically advanced plastic on the South Banks today. Uh, we, these baits are a different kind of plastic. They are floating. They've got a built-in scent. They are very durable, very stretchy. They are completely free of any known toxin, no environmental hormones. They are swallow safe, so if you lose them, if the fish ingest them, they will not harm the fish. They will remain soft, they can pass them. And if a, something that lives long, like a turtle eats them, they'll actually degrade in their belly. Oh, nice, that's and nice. So, and uh, it's made out of a food and medical grade plastic. You could, don't do this, but you could eat these. I don't want to be sued. So don't do this, but you could eat them and smoke them, and, and there, there's, there's nothing wrong with these baits. So if you no, can't eat your bait, he's probably going to be okay. He's yeah. just going to yeah. pass it later. Yeah, don't choke on it. <laughs> so um, our number one selling bait is the Helgamite. This is a full-size, full-body Helgamite. You can see it's very stretchy. Um, this is our number one seller. It's the number one seller, number one selling helper mite, I believe, in America right now. Awesome. Um, so this this bait will bring in the small eggs. It's really a small egg candy. It's got a very uh, unique proportion, and um, they come in a packs of four. And I always tell people you probably got about 500 fish in one pack of four. So they're a little pricier than normal plastics. But they will outfish any other thing, anything on the market. And if you yeah, want to save you, money, if you have something that's going to last, that little bit of extra price matters because you're spending three or four dollars for a, a pack of plastic that's only you're blowing through them after one or two fish. And it's not only that; you're saving space in your tackle box. Exactly. You're not spending time at the store; you're spending time fishing. Exactly. You're not spending time digging through your tackle box looking for stuff to put on because it's already been lost. All right. So tell us about the other bait you got in your hand. The other bait I have here. It's a tadpole. Um, not many people make a tadpole. Tadpoles, especially not a tadpole like this. Um, I like that tadpole. There's, there's, a, there's a perception that tadpoles emit chemicals that bats won't eat. So that protects them from being eaten. Um, to be honest, <laughs> I really don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I, I think But I'll tell you what, um, the fish have no problem eating this tadpole. Right. This is a great drop shot bait. Here at the Richmond Show in 2016, this was the the, the, uh, the best of show. Oh, nice! It was the only thing that caught fish in the tank. In the tank. <laughs> and, I, and I was sold out for a very long time because of that. Um, I've Thank pulled, you for the tank. <laughs> yes. Um, that poles come in six colors, and actually people are using them for salt water now. Oh, awesome! Um, here in the in the Virginia Chesapeake Bay area, people are using them for a spot and croaker. Oh, cool! And uh, if you look on another YouTube channel, there's a guy catching tarpon. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. With tadpoles, so tadpoles are an amazing bait. Um, you'll catch a wide variety of fish. You, you know, you, you be, expect to have a lot of fish on. There's a lot of it's a very passionate bait. Um, fish hit it hard. 
Awesome. So it's another great bait from Nico that's very unique. All right, so tell them where they can find all your stuff, how they can find you on social media. Okay. Um, online, Nico, most Nico baits are available on Amazon. Uh, all of Nico baits are available on the Nico website, which is nico-fishing.com. And another website is eatsmofishing.com. The, uh, the web, the Facebook is uh, Nico Fishing Baits. And Instagram is Nico underscore Baits. And uh, you can find us there. And for every all the customers who buy baits and send us some really nice pictures and tell us what you think about them, um, every now and then we, we kind of randomly choose amongst them and uh, send them the bait and say thank you. Oh, that's awesome. All right, guys, so that's it for here in the Nico booth. And check them out. Go check them out on all their social media. And I'll post all their links down below. And uh, I'm going to wander around and check out more of this show. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so far, so cool. We've got to check out all these crazy big boats. For any of you guys that are looking for big bass boats and stuff, they got everything down here at the Richmond Expo. I mean, all kinds of crazy boats. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful big boats. But they also come with super big prices. So check this out. This is the new Ranger 5, 518. And look at the price tag on this bad boy. Yeah, that's like buying a small house. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't see myself buying that at all. But beautiful boats, awesome stuff. This is uh, this next one is a Ranger, another Ranger. This is the RT188. Pretty cool boat. Let's check out the price tag. Having a big boat is really cool, and if you can afford it, it's awesome. I will say one thing about having a big boat: it's boat stands for break out another thousand. So if you can't afford to dump a thousand or two thousand dollars on a regular basis in a boat, probably not the thing you should get. But if you can, then more power to you. Because I'll tell you, fishing off one of these things is pretty amazing. Um, but buying one, yeah, it will break the bank. And making payments on it, break the bank too. So uh, that's why I fish out of kayaks in my little 10 foot um, pontoon bass boat that I bought now. I get out on the same water that these guys do. In so, anyway, very cool though. The expo is really awesome. I'm having a lot of fun, meeting a lot of people. And um, if you haven't ever gotten down here, um, it'll be coming around the same time next year. And you should definitely check it out. So we're going to keep walking around and checking out more stuff. All right, guys, so uh, I just got to meet Matt from SB Fishing TV, and I got to meet um, Cornell from YouTube Fishing Vids. Super awesome guys. Been following their channels for a while. Um, definitely cool to meet those guys. I hope I get to fish with those guys in the future. So shout out to you, Matt, from SB Fishing TV, and shout out to Cornell. It was cool to meet you guys. Um, I also got to meet um, Scylla Johnson. Snooky from Snooky's Fishing. And it was super great to meet them too. Super awesome people. Um, met uh, one cast and one, one fish. Um, 
been following him for a while. It was cool to meet him as well. So uh, yeah, had a really, really great time. Met a lot of people that I've been following on YouTube for a while and following on Instagram. Um, and I hope I get to fish with them. So hey, it was great to meet all you guys. I uh, hope we get to get some lines wet together. And um, yeah, we're just gonna keep on trucking now. So it's been a lot of fun. All right, guys, we are at the Real Snot booth and we are talking to Rich. Rich, Rich Von Nordek from Real Snot. So here's what we got going on. This is the Richmond Show Special and I want to tell everybody thank you because this is where it has started four years ago. This is where it started. We're manufactured in Williamsburg right here locally. Awesome. So we appreciate all the support and all the love. Thank you all for coming out every year. So we have a couple show specials going on. Come, one comes with the original. Real snot, one garlic and one java. With the original, it's a line loop. And so what it's going to do is going to add 15 to 25 people on the same cast, same reel, same wood. Nice. It creates distance, but also knocks down memory on all your lines, whether it's mono from sitting too long, whether it's fluorocarbon. That's a big problem with fluoro. we got to use it, but it's, it gets a little weird on you. It gets a little you know, finicky on you. It reduces the memory on the, on the uh, fluorocarbon. Also, braid. Works on braid. You want to throw a frog an extra 25 feet? Shoot the reel two times, throw it out, wind it in, you're done three, four days in a row. Also works with no polymer. The biggest difference with our product and everybody else is out there, we are not petroleum based. Everything else is petroleum based, which attacks your line, breaks down the new bristle, you get that gray, that chalky, milky. That line's compromised at that point. We do not do that. 100% eco-friendly, two ounce bottle, non petroleum based. Thank you all, we appreciate it. Also, www.realsnot.com. You can get product, you can get any questions for us, let us know. If you can get out here, come out here and see us at the Richmond Show at Doswell. Exit at the Meadow Park. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys, if you guys haven't checked this guys out, check their stuff out, you really need to get on it. Great guys, great company, great stuff. You need to check it out. All right, guys, for any of you guys that like to throw spinner baits or buzz baits, this is the place to come. Check all this out. Good seeing you too. It's nice meeting you. It's like spinner bait heaven. Buzz baits. You name it. Oh, sorry. It's towers and towers of it. Excuse me. All right, guys, so these guys have every spinnerbait color, every size, whatever you want, you name it. They got it at this booth. So if you're not down here at the Richmond Expo, you need to be. I'm a big spinnerbait guy. Love them, they crush them, and these guys got it all. So what's, what's your company? Yeah. Dave's Tournament Tackle? So this is Dave's, this is Dave's Tournament Tackle booth, and hey, that's Dave right there, and he's trying to help some people right now. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Say hi, Dave. Hello. So he's got all the crazy stuff on there. If you're a buzz bait, spinner bait guy, this is the place to come. Um, what's your, you got website, Instagram, all that? Shout Dave's, out to there. Dave'sTournamentTackle.com. All right, so Dave'sTournamentTackle.com. Check him out, man. Amazing stuff. Um, I'm gonna walk around here and text him out because I love spinner bait. So um, we're gonna check out some more stuff. Hey everybody, I found two really cool friends here, the great fishing ladies, and I wanted to give a shout out to you guys on YouTube. So go ahead, girls. Hey guys. Uh, so I'm from Silla Fishing. Hey guys, Snooky Fishing. If you guys haven't checked out the Instagram channel and Silla's YouTube, hopefully she'll start filming some videos. <laughs> and hopefully she'll start filming some videos too. You need to check them out on Instagram and YouTube. Um, great ladies, catch a lot of good fish, and hopefully you guys might see them out on the water. All right guys, so we're hanging out here with Paul Smith and a couple young men that are from Savannah County, and they're gonna do a shout out to their school and what they do, and they're gonna tell you what Enigma just did for them. So uh, listen up. Uh, I'm Marshall Taylor and I'm from Savannah County High School on our fishing team at Enigma. I'm at the Richmond Expo and they hooked me up with 40% off their Enigma reels. Yeah, um, Caleb Sprowling and gave us a great deal of 40% off Enigma reels. Definitely go and check that out. And, um, thank you a lot. Uh, Alright guys, two young men that are up and coming in the fishing world. Um, check them out. You guys have a YouTube channel? Instagram? Instagram. Instagram? Instagram? Alright, do a shout out for Instagram. What's your Instagram? Marshall Taylor underscore 13. Alright, what's your Instagram? Spradlin Booyah. Spradlin underscore Booyah. S P R A D T L I N. Alright, two cool guys. Check them out on Instagram and hopefully we see these guys fish the FLW one day. Sure, thank you. Alright, guys, well, that's it. Um, 
Richmond Expo, I am done. I am tired. Um, long day. It was a great day. I had a really good time. Met a lot of really great people. Um, just a lot of fun. Had a good time, you know, hanging out at the Enigma booth. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Enigma Rods and Wheels, you need to do that. Um, great rods, great wheels, great company. And if you don't know, I am on Enigma Pro Staff now, and I'm very proud to be a part of that company. And, um, yeah, just had a great day. And uh, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have never been to the Richmond Expo, I highly recommend it coming down here. It'll be here next year, the year after that, I'm sure. Um, just a lot of fun, a lot of good people, a lot of cool stuff. can get a lot of deals down here. Hey, guys. Well, as you can see, I am back home at my house. Um, I originally wanted to shoot the ending for this video at the show, at the Expo. And I actually did a couple versions of it there, but after I did them all, I went back to them. I realized I kept forgetting people I wanted to mention. And um, I think a lot of it is because I was really tired. Um, it was, a, it was a long day and a fun day. Had a great day. Met a lot of great people. Um, just really enjoyed myself. And uh, um, just had a cool time. So if you guys have never been down to that, that Richmond Fishing Expo, you definitely need to go check it out. I'm going to probably start going every year. I had such a blast doing it. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, first thing I want to say is that I want to give a shout out to um, my new sponsors. Enigma Fishing, um, thank you for picking me up. I had a great time, you know, being around the booth and helping out a little bit. I didn't really help out a whole lot because you already had a bunch of other pro staff guys that you'd already lined up. But super cool to get there and meet some other guys from the different areas that are on pro staff that are working for the company. And meeting Joel was really cool. Super nice guy. Um, just great setup. And I, I look forward to working the booth next year. Um, I think it's really cool. And it was just, it was, it was a good experience, you know, I mean, I haven't, you know, been on that side of it before. So, um, it was really, it was really cool and, um, just had a great time. And then, you know, um, it was just a, it was just a really, really fun, fun, fun time. And, uh, so, um, I just had a blast, man. I don't know how many times I can say that, you know, it was just a really good time. There's a lot of amazing stuff to see. I hope you guys got to see some of it in the video. Um, there's just so much to videotape and record and I had a lot of things I wanted to get done and and certain people I wanted to talk to so um, You know, I was kind of busy jumping around But I did try to get some pictures and some video some things. There was some amazing just amazing things There was a whole place where you could get spare baits where you could actually had the guy would make them right there on the spot for you Whatever you wanted however you wanted it, which was really cool. So a lot of great companies there um, there's a few that I want to talk about in particular that I, I, I you know, really, you know, like and, and want to give shouts out to, to out to. But um, the first thing I want to say is that um, I got to meet a few of my other fellow YouTubers out there and people that I've been talking on Instagram. So that was really cool. So um, the first ones I want to shout out to is I met um, Scylla Johnson from Scylla Johnson's Fishing. Um, Scylla, thanks. You are awesome. Amazing lady. Um, super cool. Um, look forward to getting to know you, hanging out with you, and hopefully we'll get to do some fishing together. And I also met um, Snooky Fishing. Um, another super great lady. Amazing. Just um, just super nice people. Very personable. Um, really enjoyed talking to them. I mean, just great, great people. I um, hope I get to get out and fish with both of you guys and hope I see you at some more of these events. And, um, just looking forward to getting to know some more of the fishing community. So um, two great, 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 amazing female fishermen that um, if you guys aren't following, you need to follow. Check out their Instagram. Check out their um, YouTube pages. Um, I will try to link their stuff down below in the, the des description so you guys can get up with them. I mean, just great, great people. Um, and Scylla is actually already, she kind of helped me in this process of getting started to, to moving forward into you know, the whole how you do the pro staff thing and, and, and things like that. She kind of was the first person that gave me some insight. And so um, really appreciate that, Scylla. Um, thank you. And um, like I said, you know, look forward to hanging out with you guys, getting to know you and uh, doing some fishing with you. Um, the next people I met, I met um, One Cast, One Fish. Um, super cool hanging out with you, dude. Um, really, really great guy. Um, I don't know if you guys know him, but you need to check out his YouTube page, check out his Instagram. And he actually hooked me up with some secret stuff. And um, yeah, super great guy. Um, appreciate the tip. Um, yeah, um, and I met a really good guy. I'm gonna talk about you know this other company that you know he introduced me to that I'm really impressed with. So um, we're gonna get to that. <clears throat> but um, he was a super great guy. And I hope I get to do some fishing with you too, man. I hope we can do some, do some collabs and everything, and that'll be awesome. And then you know um, there's two other guys that I really follow a lot, and. Um, one was, uh, it's Matt from SB Fishing TV. Um, 
really cool to meet you, Matt. It was really cool that you took time to sit down and talk to me. I know that your your life has jumped into overdrive and you got a lot of stuff going on and you're you're really taking off. And so um, really appreciate you taking time to sit down and talk to me. Hope you and I can get together to the fish and I will hook you up with my buddy in Montana so you can get some stuff lined up there. I'm gonna send you that info here in the next couple days. Um, but it was really cool talking to you and hope we get to do some fishing together when you got time. Um, if you guys aren't following Matt, Matt's getting ready to do a 50 state fishing trip. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing those videos and um, check his YouTube out. He's really great, super knowledgeable guy and super personable and just a really nice guy. And then at the time I was talking to Matt, I actually got to meet Cornell from Cornell um, from uh, excuse me Cornell sorry from YouTube Fishing Bids. And Cornell's another guy that is super personable, super nice, and just a great guy to watch and learn from. I mean, I've learned a lot of stuff from both those guys watching their videos and learning techniques and stuff, and just really enjoy their videos. They're just really really good fishermen and just really good guys. So. Um, Check out their channels, man. I mean, they're, if you guys are wanting to learn and, and learn about the sport and learn tips and tricks and learn how to fish your area, especially in Virginia, because, you know, every state and things can be different. And these guys travel and fish, too. So you can really learn a lot, and you can learn a lot of stuff that can work everywhere for you. So really check out their videos. They're just phenomenal, phenomenal. All of them, all of them, you know, um, Snooky Fishing, Silla Johnson Fishing, you know, One Cast, One Fish, you know, um, Cornell from YouTube Fishing Bids. Um, Matt from SB Fishing TV, just phenomenal, phenomenal guys and great YouTubers. And I'm um, really glad I got to meet you guys and hope we get to do some collabs and do some fishing together. Um, looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, you know, that was just, just really, really awesome. And then, you know, meeting some of the guys from the pro staff, um, meeting um, Scotty Hollywood and then and Paul um, from Enigma Fishing and then all the other guys, you know, if I forget your names, you know, um, just meeting all you guys. It was just really great. It was cool. It was a really good experience. And I hope to get to do some fishing with all you guys, man. I mean, I really want to get some stuff lined up and do some stuff with you guys. And it was really, really, just, just really, really a lot of fun, you know. And then the next guys I want to give a shout out to is Real Snot. You guys see here, I got Real Snot, this bag, this hat. Got a um, Real Snot um, rag here. Um, got the Real Snot spray. Um, I actually ended up getting one of their fishing jerseys. Um, these guys, super, super cool guys. And, um, yeah, um, I'm going to actually do a video on Real Snot, and, and I'm going to get in depth on it. I'm not going to get into it now, but um, this is a really super cool product, and if you guys aren't using it, you probably should. Um, once I do the video, you'll understand <clears throat> how it works and stuff. But um, super cool guys. They hooked me up with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, really appreciate it, and um, it was super awesome. And just big shout-out to, to, to Rich. I mean, it, it's, it's von nordic rich von nordic um yeah rich thank you for hooking me up um i will let you know when this video gets out and i'm also gonna let you know when i do the actual real snot video pretty excited to do that for you guys and um just super cool bunch of guys so if you guys are at a fishing expo and you see real snot stop by say hi to them guys very personable super awesome they allowed me to shoot the video clip that i have on this video and just you know just super great guys and they got a great they got a great product and got some cool gear man i mean so um Definitely check them out too. And then the next guy I want to shout out to is Scott Barrett. And, and Scott is um, um, with uh, Nico Soft Baits or Nico Baits. And um, I don't know how many of you guys know about Nico Baits, but um, Scott was super cool. And he's got some really, really cool, cool um, baits out on the market. And um, what did I do? Oh, wait, I got them right here. So, yeah, sorry, I'm like looking around. Um, I've been looking for Helgermites, and I'm not going to do a separate video on this, but just to tell you, if any of you guys are looking for like really awesome Helgermites, I don't know if you guys can see these, but that's the natural color, and then this is like a um, watermelon red flake, which I really like a lot, and yeah, I've been looking for some super awesome Helgermites, and I'm going to do a video on these too, so I'm not going to get into it, but um, Really cool baits and really cool guy. Um, super nice guy. So the next time you guys are at the Richmond Expo, he's got all kinds of other baits too. And I'm not going to get into all that. I'll get into that in the other video. But um, he's got some really great soft plastic baits that I think are going to be phenomenal. And I'm going to pick up some more stuff from, from them. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't been checking out because the, you know, I think they're you know underrated as, as a company that makes stuff and what they do. I think you really need to check them out. 
and 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 probably pick up some stuff from them. Um, not going to get into a whole bunch of it now, but um, I will tell you this: when I was at his booth, the people that do know about that stuff were like pulling bags and bags of stuff off his shelves. So uh, yeah, it's it, I think it's uh, kind of a secret, but um, I'm going to let the secret out. So. Um, Super cool guy, a super great company. Um, if you guys are at a show that he's at, definitely check out their stuff. I mean, really, really cool. And so, yeah, with all that, you know, it was just, it was a great day. Um, unfortunately for me, I mean, I'm shooting this video actually later in the day because um, I have certain injuries that cause me some issues. And walking around on concrete for any length of time like that is really, really hard on me. Um, I'm not going to get into my injuries or what happened or anything. But, um, I was I was injured severely and um had to have a lot of surgery so I have a lot of titanium in my body and um so um it, it really it's rough on my back my neck and my shoulders and my legs and so I can only do it for so long and when I do it when I push myself outside of what I should um it takes me a little time to recover and you know today I'm hurting a little bit and a little bit more than a little bit but um I wanted to get this video shot because I got to get all this stuff edited and I want to get it up by Wednesday um um, so if you guys are watching this, then obviously I made it, I got it up by Wednesday. So yeah, um, great time, great people. Just want to say thanks to everybody I met. Appreciate all the, all the great people I met and looking forward to fishing to all you guys and communicating and us all, you know, um, collaborating together and just really had a great time. I've got another expo that I will be doing in March, which is in Augusta. It's the Augusta Fishing Expo and I will be there because I am on, um, and this is something that I haven't really announced yet. I've kind of been waiting, but I, I'm on post staff for another company as well there. And so I will be there representing them for the day. Um, you guys will find out who that is um, here in the next few days, probably once some things show up at my house. Um, you will know who it is. And then, and then if you guys are gonna be out at the Augusta Expo, um, come by and say hi. Um, I will be there. I will probably shoot another video and tell you where I'm at and, and everything when I do the whole, hey, this is who else I got sponsored by type deal. But I try to do those individually um, so I can dedicate it to that company. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, my, my end of um, 2018, my beginning of 2019 has really um, started to take off and um, it's looking really good. I'm really excited for this year, excited for fishing, excited for fishing a bunch of with a bunch of people and just having a really good time fishing and, and just learning more. I mean, I mean, I'm always learning when it comes to fishing and I'm learning from all kinds of people. So I'm very open-minded when I go fishing with others to learn new tips and tricks. And then I have everybody, we all have our go-to stuff. You know, we all have the things that we know that work for us and the things that we're confident in, those are things that we throw. But I've really started stepping outside my comfort zone and throwing things that I've never thrown before and turning them into confidence baits. So, and I'll tell you guys how to do that in another video and what I do to do that. But um, there's ways to, to, to push yourself and, and really get confident with a bait. And um, so, yeah, with, with that being said, I hope I got everybody. I hope I covered everybody and gave a shout out to everybody. Um, everybody I mentioned, go to their websites, go to their um, pages and stuff. Um, they all have, uh, um, like for Nico's, NicoFishing.com. Um, for uh, Real Snot, it's realsnot.com, www.realsnot.com. And then everybody, all the YouTubers, I think I shouted out all their pages. Um, I will link everything down below and put all their stuff down below in the description so you guys can go check out their stuff and check out their pages and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, it was a great time. Um, I definitely recommend hitting the expos. It wasn't expensive either. It only cost, you know, it cost $9 to get in. It cost me 8 because I'm a veteran. And, um, you know, parking was not bad. I was able to just walk, you know, I got my ticket online, was able to just walk through the door, didn't have to wait in line to get a ticket, just handed my thing, walked right through the door, and went and did my thing. And um, just great, great time. And so, yeah, I would have loved to gone, you know, you know, today as well, because today is actually Sunday. If you guys are watching this on Wednesday, you know, this is Sunday that I'm shooting this. But I would love to go on both days, but I just, you know, honestly couldn't do it, you know. I mean, I have a nine-year-old son I have to take care of too, so. Anyway. Um, I'm going to be getting out and fishing, um, hopefully this week. It looks like they're going to have be a few nice days, so hopefully I'll be out tomorrow and Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I hope you liked everything. I hope you check out everybody's channels. And, yeah, um, that's all I got, you know, until next time. So, yeah, um, 
Do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe button, hit that ding dong button, hit that share button, all that stuff you gotta do for YouTube. And then just do yourself a favor, get out there, get your lines wet, and catch some fish.